Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on gradients and equations of lines and Pythagoras and a bit of uh, uh, radicals or thirds to it as well. Now, from the outset, it says uh, uh, no calculator allowed for this question. And uh, there are three parts to this question. It then goes on to say, uh, the, this is a diagram, and then it says, uh, diagram not accurately drawn. Okay? Diagram not accurately drawn. We, we need to bear this in mind when we look at, especially when we look at part three of this question. Right, okay. Now he then says, um, PQRS is a square, O and D are points on the Y axis, O and P are points on the X axis. Right, he then says, uh, DPQ is a straight line. Okay, and then he says that the equation of the line that passes P and S is Y is equal to minus X plus 3, or if you like, Y is equal to 3 minus X. Right, now for the first part, it says find the length of DS. Now, in order to do this, we need to look at uh, two equations. First, we look at the first equation, which is y is equal to uh, x, sorry, minus x plus 3. So look at that. And because p lies on the x axis, uh, the value of y anywhere on the x axis is 0. So the coordinate of the point p will be uh, 3. So the coordinates of the point p will be 3, 0. Similarly, because anywhere on the x-axis, the value of x is 0, so the coordinate of the, I'm using the equation as, again, the value of, sorry, the coordinates at the point s will be uh, 0, 3. Okay, in order to find the coordinate of the point d, we need to find the equation of the line dpq. dpq, and because sp is perpendicular to dpq it then means that the product of the uh, gradients of the line sp and the line dpq will be minus one okay so now if we then do that and then so m sub one which is if we, if we say m sub one is the gradient of the line sp and m sub 2 is the gradient of the line dpq. So m sub 1 times m sub 2 will give us uh, minus 1. So uh, minus 1 times m sub 2 will give us minus 1. So, minus, so m sub 2 is 1. Now m sub 1 is minus 1 because the, we've got the equation of the line sp is y is equal to minus x plus 3, which gives us minus 1 there. Okay, right. Now we can find the equation of the line dpq. We know the coordinates of one point on the line, which is uh, 3, 0. So if we do y minus 0 divided by x minus, x minus 3 is equal to minus 1. So we then have that equation of the line dpq is y is equal to x minus 3. And if y is equal to x minus 3, on the y-axis, x is 0. So the coordinates of the point D would be 0 uh, minus 3. Okay. And because we're measuring from D to O is 3 units, and from O to S is also 3 units. So the length of the line DS is 3 plus 3, which will give us 6 units there. And that's the first part of the question of that's it. That's the answer to part one of the question. Okay, now part two. And part two says uh, express the length PS in the form A times the square root of B. Right. Now, this triangle, triangle SOP, this triangle here, is not only a right angle triangle is also an isosceles triangle because OP is 3 and OS is 3. So to find PS, we use Pythagoras. So 3 squared for OP plus 
3 squared for OS, that will give us 18, and that's equal to PS squared or SP squared. So SP will then be the square root of 18, and the square root of 18 is same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2, because 9 and 2 are factors of, of 18. But the square root of 9 is 3, therefore uh, PS has got a value of 3 root 2. So the length of each side of the square is 3 root 2. Okay, right. Now for question 3, you show that SQ is parallel to the, to the, to the X axis. Now, I know SQ does not look anything uh, like parallel to the x-axis, but you must bear this in mind. Diagram not accurately drawn. Right, what I'm going to do here is to, again, look at the triangle uh, SOP. Now, because this is an isosceles triangle and a right, right uh, angle triangle, which is also an isosceles triangle, uh, we know this angle is 90 degrees there. Okay, so the other angles in the triangle will be um, 45 degrees. So that's 45, and that's 45, and that's also 45 degrees there. Okay, now if I drop a line, a perpendicular line from Q to Q sub 1, which is that one there, so the angle PQ sub 1Q is 90 degrees. Okay. Now, using a bit of trick here, um, Q, Q sub 1 divided by the hypotenuse of 3 root, uh, three, 3 root 2, uh, because we know this angle is 45 degrees there. Okay, So, uh, Q, Q sub 1 divided by 3 root 2 will give us the sign of 45 degrees. And we know that the sine of 45 degrees is 1 root 2. So Q, Q sub 1 then becomes 3 root 2 sine 45. And that means 3 root 2 multiplied by 1 over root 2. The root 2s will cancel out. So, so Q, sub, sorry, Q, Q sub 1 has got a value of 3 units. Meanwhile, OS has got a value of 3 units as well, and perpendicular to the x-axis, so it's Q, Q sub 1. So it then means that uh, SQ is parallel to the x-axis. Now, I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again sometime.